Hi guys, this is Miss Brown and this week's read aloud is called Biko, the Unimaginary Friend. I love this book. It has a great message and I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Biko, the Unimaginary Friend by Dan Santat. He was born on an island far away where imaginary friends were created. Here they lived and played, each eagerly waiting to be imagined by a real child. Every night, he stood under the stars, hoping for his turn to be picked by a child and given a special name. He waited for many nights. But his turn never came. His mind filled with thoughts of all the amazing things that were keeping his friends from imagining him. So rather than waiting, he did the unimaginable. He sailed through unknown waters and faced many scary things. But thinking about his friend gave him the courage to journey on until he reached the real world. The real world was a strange place. No kids were eating cake. No one stopped to hear the music. And everyone needed nap time. Doesn't sound good. Then he finally saw something familiar. So he followed. He had a good feeling about this place. But he looked everywhere and he could not find his friend. He climbed to the top of a tree and looked out wishing and hoping his friend will come. But no one, no one come, no one came. He thought about how far he'd come and how long he'd waited and felt very sad. Then he heard a noise below. Hello. Her face was friendly and familiar, and there was something about her that felt just right. At first, they weren't sure what to do. Neither of them had made a friend before, but after a little while, Hi, I'm Alice. Biko. I'm Biko. Hi, Biko. They were perfect together. Biko and Alice had many new adventures. They shared their snacks. They told phony, they told funny jokes. The world began to feel a little less strange. And together, they did the unimaginable. All right. Okay, guys, for this assignment, this today, what we're going to do is I want you to go to Flipgrid again and use the code that I will put in Canvas for you. And I want you to tell me about your best friend. Who's your best friend? Real or imaginary? I used to have an imaginary friend when I was little, when I was um, around four or five, and he was great. I still remember him with love. 
So if you have a real best friend that you want to talk to me or an imaginary friend that you want to talk to me, tell me all about it. I would love to hear it from you. All right. Have a great week. I love you. Bye.